My name is Mina Flagg. The piece is called LAW, L-A-W. It's an acronym for love and war. And there's two ideas happening. So law being a double entendre, one side is love during times of war, compassion during times of chaos, the relationships that are developed during war, and what comes out of these relationships and how they affect the person once they are sent onto the battlefield. And then the other side is love as war, love as this constant battle, and who makes it out of that battle, who concedes these power struggles, this push and pull that happens in different relationships, whether they're romantic relationships, family ships, friendships, but how those relationships develop, when they go away, how they go away, if they go away. I started playing with choreography using this piece of music. It's actually a speech given by Charlie Chaplin. It's called The Great Dictator Speech. I'm sorry. I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle. When I got in the studio with dancers, I started working with bodies. And as I was teaching them the movement and workshopping the movement to this music, I felt like they were restricted a little bit by the music, by the timing. So I stripped the music away and I wanted to see what happened just in the silence. The first section deals with the masses and how they react to ideas. Ideas being gently pushed on them. And whether they accept ideas or whether they rebel ideas and who is accepting the idea and who is rebelling against the idea. And so you have these relationships that are beginning to be formed. And the first relationship that we see is between two characters, in this case, Carissa and Chris, who during this time where these entities who are upstage are pushing these ideas and gently acting as puppet masters, so to speak, you see these two characters identifying with one another and in this unspoken way, having a communication about whether or not they're gonna go along with this idea, whether they're comfortable with it, whether they're gonna go along with it, but inside of that, have their own relationship and their own course of action with one another. And so you see this relationship starting to build and develop slowly in the first section. Mia, who is upstage, she represents a group of entities that are gently nudging, gently pushing these ideas on the masses. And depending on whether or not they agree with the idea or go against the idea, that nudge becomes a little more forceful.
The second section is about training and preparing for battle. So you have these sharp movements, almost a militarization of the masses. And you see these movements happening and they're starting to fall in line with one another and they're preparing to go into battle. I started using whacking movement and whacking vocabulary. And then I started to make it a little more sharp, defined, uh, military style. The third section is the actual battle. What you're seeing are the dancers traveling downstage and you see all of this movement, which is exciting and powerful and frantic. The battlefield is in darkness. So every time you see the dancers come downstage, they're in the light and you see them having these anxieties, these inner dialogues, psyching themselves up to go back into battle and they disappear upstage into the darkness. The fourth section, POW, Prisoners of War, deals with what happens inside of captivity. The beauty, the struggle, the peace, the sanity, the insanity inside of this intimate captive space. And you see these solos, these duets, these trios happening and how people cope with captivity and not knowing their fate. Horizon near dawn, I'm searching for some. 